Hi guys, welcome to Moody Motion. My name is Olek Ibrahimov and today I will show you how to make your own AI assistant yourself. You can give him tasks and he speaks with you your voice. Keyword assistant here, I am at your service. Ramage through the internet like a rat in order to find the best information possible and record the results for a long-term memory and take into account the previous results while starting the new tasks. He can also create an additional assistant. You can teach him different voice so you will hear the two voices speaking on your computer. How do you do it? First of all, go to Git for Windows and download here and install it. After that, you go to the Python releases and download the version 3.10.10. .10. Just remember that while installing a Python, put the check mark here at Python 3.10 to path. You can go to github.com. I will leave all the links under the video so you can follow along step by step. That is easy as hell. You go to the GitHub and make the free account. You go through the link and will find this code of AutoGPT that we will install on your hard drive. There is a bunch of stuff that is uh, useful and interesting. And actually you can find here the installation instruction all the processes telling you, you can find here, they created an additional page where you can find most of the information that is needed for your AutoGPT to run good. The installation, the usage, plugins, and so on. Now you have to decide where on your hard drive there have to be the AutoGPT folder. And now you have to copy all this thing here. In order to do this, you just type here CMD, enter, and you go with that git clone dash b stable blah 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 and the link you can find here code here is that link control v here after you did it you can find that here is your folder with the uh, auto gpt close it uh, you go inside the folder and here is the file env.template just double click or open it with the notebook. You will see here a lot of text. You can connect this AutoGPT to a different services inside the internet. For us, just to run it, you have to find open AI API key here. You just again go through the link under the video uh, to the platform openai.com. Create your free account. Now you go to the personal and you will see the view API keys when we get back to our installation page uh, we can see here that it's saying we need to set up paid account for the open ai api key to work i tried to go out to gpt with my free trial usage but it didn't let me so uh, uh, therefore go to the billing and set up your paid account you will find your api keys here so create a new secret key let's call it tutorial and remember that you won't be able to view it again just copy it done put your key here and remember that if here is the that is reshitka we, we call it in ukraine reshitka if you delete it it's like enabled uh, now uh, here are a lot of different things uh, that you can connect to the auto gpt i see here stable diffusion uh, web ui hugging face GitHub, so can connect this all those things, and it will have access, for example, to your Google. You can put here a Google API key. I tried to give the Auto GPT my voice, so I can. It's more personal thing. So, um, in order to teach AI your voice, you have to go to Eleven Lab uh, website. Uh, how to do it? In this case, I created two voices my voice and my wife's voice you can go to my previous video and find how how it works you go to profile and here is your epic key so just to show you where to put it put it here and delete reshitka now we have to put our voice id number one and voice and id number two i do it this way i go to resources documentation and here find epi playground now here is the section get voices you open it try it out put here your epi key execute and it will 
give some uh, information down below so you just scroll it and find here is motion moody motion is uh, i named this ai voice model i just copy it place it here it will use it as the main voice of AutoGPT, but AutoGPT is creating an additional assistant. Here is an option to give that the second assistant uh, its voice, you know, the second voice. And uh, first uh, voice is mine and the second is my wife's. They are speaking inside my computer. You close it, save it. And now you have to change the extension of that file. If you don't see the extension like that, you just go view and put the check mark file name and extension here template word you delete it with the dot and yes so now it is ready you can have this page open so it will help you uh, if you are lost run it just go to usage and here as in a speak mode i just copy it python m auto gpt and speak to run the of the GPT. In order to do so, you go inside that folder and put here CMD, enter, and copy here Python, this thing, blah, 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 speak. And let me listen to this stuff. Oh, welcome to Auto GPT. Run with the help for more information. Create an AI assistant. Enter the name of your AI and its role below. Entering nothing will load defaults. Uh, while I was doing the video, I saw that on their document they did some changes and now to run on uh, Windows uh, without Docker, uh, you have to put run bat. This way it will download all needed packages for Python. From now on we can start as this way our auto gpt or we also can use our old version that i was speaking all the time in this tutorial i mean python m auto gpt as you see it's still working so keep it in mind this stuff is upgrading from from day to day so you have to just save somewhere this page for you so you can follow every update they do now we have to name our auto gpt assistant i'm shooting videos for stock platforms and the first thing that came to my mind that it can help me with the keywords key word assistant keyword assistant here i am at your service so now it is asking what is keyword assistant. So let's explain that mm, keyword assistant is a bot that is searching for best keywords for video stock footages, best sales. Now it's asking us, uh, let's put a few goals for it. So the first goal will be search for best selling themes on video stock platforms. Make a list of best performing keywords to best selling themes and predict which themes would perform best in the nearest future. Go. I will start by searching for the best selling themes on video stock platforms to get an idea of what is currently popular. From there, I will create a list of the best performing keywords and use them to predict which themes would perform best in the nearest future. Every action he is uh, trying to do, he's asking us, uh, do we want to continue or not? And you have to put yes, him to proceed. But if you go here, you can find uh, inside the instructions, you can say to use only ChatGPT3 if you don't have the subscription for ChatGPT4 and or to use only ChatGPT4. Also, there is option um, to make it do it continuously, uh, copying that thing Python um, out to GPT continuous, and it will it won't ask you uh, on every action what is doing. Would you like me to return to being keyword assistant? So when you closed the window and open it again and said Python out to GPT speak, if you don't want it to speak, you just don't put here speak. When you connected it to your eleven lab it will take from you that characters every time it speaks it's uh, it's converting text to the voice and it's taking uh, those credits that that are remaining on your account on 11 lab
So it's asking me for my Google API key. And uh, here is the way how you can do it, how you can get your. Uh, so in this case, I will leave the link to you under the video, or you can find it here in this instruction page, um, uh, the Google Cloud Console. You click on select a project and create a new project. You call it, let's call it Auto, Auto GPT create. Okay, after that, I clicked on the project. Um, a dashboard uh, appeared here. I can, I should go to API and services and I enable API and services. And here is enable API and services on the top and search here for custom. And right here, a custom search API. Here it is. Click on that and then click enable. You go to the credentials credentials and uh, you click here create credentials and api key so it created one copy that thing close and find here a google api key it's here and insert now delete reshitka <laughs> your custom search engine and id to find it uh, you go back and to set up a custom a search engine and add it to your env file so for that you go to the, through that link or i also leave the link under the video so it will lead you to that page you go add you name it do you want to make a search on some specific website or through the whole internet i choose the whole internet i'm not a robot and create and Osnovne, it means basics. So here is your search engine ID. You just copy it and go to your notebook and paste it here. Also, in order to get your uh, PinCon API uh, key, you have to go to the PinCo website, register there for free. And you go here to the API keys and click create api enter the name for example auto gpt create uh, click here to see the co uh, see the key copy that thing to pin con api key here delete that thing and an environment also copy here save it so what it actually do is uh, written here so the pin cone lets you store a vast amount of vector-based memory, allowing the agent to load only relevant memories at any given time. Would you like me to return to being keyword assistant? Yes, I would like to. Let's do it. I will browse stock footage websites to find the most commonly used keywords for the theme camper life. Shatterstock.com is actually what I need. He is taking video blocks. Damn. Oh, now it is searching web uh, Shatterstock category video. I will browse the Adobe stock website to find the most commonly. I will use Google to search for the most commonly used keyword. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's always, it's a pain in the ass sitting with those keywords. And I know that it is uh, one of the main things that you have. It's, it's important things if you want to find your footage on the shadow stock. So actually, this is how it works. Uh, but if you don't want to uh, play with all this stuff, you just can go to this website. Just sign up here. You can uh, put here the same thing. Put the name of your assistant and objectives. Platforms. Put the automatic tasks for himself. Just let watch uh, how it will deal with this. So it's adding tasks. Scrapping technologies to gather data on the top selling themes for video footage on stock platforms. Use machine learning algorithms to predict the potential success of new video footage based on the identified top selling themes and keywords. Oh my God, damn, it is doing some stuff. I feel like a monkey right now. I hope that some of information today was useful for you and you will integrate those knowledge into your projects so um stay tuned have a nice day evening and see you next time 
my wife is doing those t-shirts you can go underneath to the link and order some of these these are very very good they have they are stretching they are very soft for your skin and for your well-being Stupid man, you know, the stupid man do the tasks twice. <laughs> Why? Why it's all the time happening to me? <laughs>